Hey everyone, Duck Gaz here. Uh, I'm going to do a review. Gaming room, gaming corner, by the way, I meant to say, not a review. It's uh, WWE 13 Stone Cold Steve Austin Edition. Hang on, I'm going to take it out of that so you can see it better. There you go. Right, now, with this one, I got an autograph. I had an autograph signature, that, and of course, that, but I didn't really need that because I've already got the DVD. But it's good anyway, just to have it. So, what do I think? Is this better than here, kind of WWE 12? Yes. Is it better than the SmackDown games in the past? Yes, it has been a lot better than I anticipated, shall we say. Um, Universe Mode is absolutely brilliant. I can have as many shows from Monday to Saturday as possible. Heck, uh, heck... When ECW, when those championship pack editions come out, like all oh, the ECW belts, all the WCW belts, I'm going to have uh, ECW and WCW uh, on universe mode as well. Uh, let me think. So, that's good. Attitude Era mode, better than Road to WrestleMania any day. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, uh, Attitude Era mode. And, um, yeah. Uh, there were a couple of moments when you think to, there are a couple of moments on the Attitude Era mode in which you think to yourself, where the heck is it? Um, he, my friend brought this up because he has WW13 as well. He said that uh, two things uh, didn't make sense. Number one, um, the Hell in a Cell did not come down during Austin's match with Kane, and the second and the second one, which is which is unbelievably uh, missed off, is the Funtax choke slam. Uh, Basically, the fun tax uh, from the Mankind Undertaker match. So, those two are missing, but do I really think that's enough to put points down? Not really, because it's such an iconic, uh, it's such an iconic moment. You know, the the as long as I got that iconic moment, uh, I don't think anything can be different from the uh, from that. Jim Ross's commentary on on. On attitude mirror mode is just flawless. Uh, even when he was not doing those shows at all, you know, I iconically he was doing all of Michael Cole's lines when he was doing uh, Royal Rumble 1999. So that was quite funny to have doing that. Uh, so that's a plus. Um, create mode still 50. Communication creation still good. Creating arena is a lot better than I, than I was expecting. Uh, especially when you change as many, especially when you have a choice of uh, of ordinary arena, indie arena, which is which I've dubbed ECW arenas. Uh, outside tribute to the troops, uh, and outside of course being WrestleMania nine. Um, bit limited, but at the same time, I'm not really fussed. Really, I mean, it's better than what we got last year, shall we say? So yeah, so so I got. So the Stone Cold Edition, uh, which I got, it's a lot more. It's a it's a bit expensive, really. But uh, I, I, if you haven't got WWE 13, just buy the just buy the regular version. You'll see CM Punk on the cover, um, and also also um, forgot to bring this up. Uh, you can have as many you can have as many dream matches as possible. Austin v CM Punk, for instance. Um, Oh, what else? You could have the Legion of Doom versus the Acolytes, which I don't ever remember happening. Uh, I don't know why you would have John Cena in any match, really, but you could have John Cena versus Shawn Michaels in his prime. Uh, you could have... Uh, even, you can have three Frick McFoldings wrestling in one match. Yes, you can have Cactus Jack, Dude Love, and Mankind wrestling in a triple threat match, hardcore style, and it, it just does it. You know, it's it's insane, really, that you can do that now. 
Uh, what else? Uh, there's two styles of Undertaker. I prefer Attitude Era Undertaker, and I'm looking forward to downloading Ministry Taker when I get my uh, when that comes out. So, um, anything else I want to mention? There's a lot of rust. There's a lot of in the roster. There's at least a hundred wrestlers plus your Cole, plus your creator wrestlers, and that's a lot more. Uh, so, how do I rate this? Well, it's is it on the same par as Here Comes the Pain? Here Comes the Pain was a very, very, very great game for the PS2. Can I say that WWE 13 is the PS3 version of Here Comes the Pain? Yes, I can. I can indeed say that. I can indeed say that Here Comes the Pain's version on the PS3 is WWE 13. So there you go. Here Comes the Pain's version. Here Comes the Pain. Uh, and um, this one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, just seen it on my PS2 collection. So yes, so PS3 has its Here Comes the Pain WWE game, and that's uh, WWE 13. So there you go. Um, is there any more I can add? Oh yeah, in universe mode, um, you could get rid of, you could vacate as many belts as possible. You could have the Attitude Era belt, or even the old style Wing Eagle belt. Uh, you could have um, European title instead of Intercontinental, or I, I personally got rid of the US title and got and replaced it with the European title. Uh, you could have the old style Intercontinental belt, and 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 also a fact, in the, and also in universe mode, uh, you could also um, it, it has this um, stats thing when you can if you if your wrestlers want a certain title more than once, it says a record. So, for instance, my creator wrestler won the European title on the universe mode three times, and that's uh, according to that, that's a record. So there you go. So so that's quite good, really. I like the fact of that. Then it keeps up with it keeps up the stats as well. And also, if if universe mode getting out of hand, you can just reset it and um, and that's it. Be warned, if you do that, it will erase uh, all your, your creative tag teams, because I had the NWO and Wolfpack, and I had a new version of DX on, it will just wipe that completely heart clean. So, uh, be advised again, uh, be advised, uh, if you are going to reset your universe mode, be prepared to recreate your tag teams. Uh, the, the, the default ones will still be there, of course, but uh, the ones that you create... Um, be advised, they will be a, they will be reset it if you reset um, to universe mode. Right, so this is Duck Guys. Oh, uh, so uh, oh, I shouldn't mention this score. Oh boy, fifty out of fifty. I don't know. I'll say forty. I'll give it for the moment until the until the other DLCs come out. I will give it. At least a 45 out of 50. Well, that's a good score, but it could get better with the DLCs. Yeah. So that's it then. So, uh, so uh, yeah, this is so this is a fabulous wrestling game. So anybody who hasn't got it, buy it now. Okay. This is Duck Gaz signing off.